The main advantage of this technique is that it allows distinguishing proteins of similar activities that have different roles depending on the localization in envelope, stroma, or thylakoid membranes. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because they will use plants that are too old, blend the leaf for too long, or won't be careful enough when resuspending the pellets of intact but fragile chloroplast. Visual demonstration of this method is critical. As the loading or recovering of fractions from purkle or on sucrose gradient steps are difficult to learn because of the risk of blending of the gradients and thus of cross-contaminating the various chloroplast subfractions. Demonstrating the procedure will be by Imen Bushnak, a PhD student from our laboratory, and Luca Moyer, an INRA engineer. To begin, Grow Arabidopsis plants for five weeks with a 12-hour light cycle at 23 degrees Celsius in the day and 18 degrees Celsius in the night, with a light intensity of 150 micromolar per square meter per second. The next day, pre-weigh a 5-liter beaker and then place it on ice. Harvest the Arabidopsis leaves, making sure to avoid picking any soil. Reweigh the beaker and record the tissue weight. Transfer the harvested leaves to a cold room. Place the leaves in a blender containing 2 liters of grinding buffer. And homogenize them by blending at high speed 3 times for a duration of 2 seconds each time. Place 4 layers of muslin and 1 layer of nylon Blutex into a strainer and this to fill